Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Diversity here, back with another match day vlog. This time on the road again at the Majeski Stadium for Reading. Used to come here once London Irish when I was a bit younger, so I know the stadium a little bit, but it's a big game today, almost like a local derby for Reading and Luton, not too far from each other on the map and in the league, actually. Had a look this one, they're both near the bottom, both fighting for these points, so I'm reckoning today could be quite a strong game for both teams. I'm going to say a 2 2 draw. You know, I always think someone's going to score, but they don't. But this time I'm confident it'll be a draw. Both teams need the points, they've both got to go for it. Also, boys and girls, just before we get into this video, I just want to thank you all for the love so far. 140, 140 subscribers, doing an amazing job, guys. You keep showing me the love. I've seen my videos being shared out there. I'm loving it right now. Let's keep it going, boys. If we can hit 300 subs by Christmas, there'll be a special giveaway for any fan that here Reading, South End, Portsmouth, Saints, anyone. Anyone at all can enter, but if we hit 300 subs by Christmas, I will announce it. Also, boys, just a quick quiz for you. There is one player now who plays for South End who used to be here at Reading, scored plenty of goals for Reading and plenty for South End. Can anyone name the player down in the comments below? I'll give you a hint. He scored a hat trick against Pompey last year at Roots Hall. This afternoon, you will hear the sounding of the last post, after which we would like to invite supporters of both clubs to unite in remembrance and observe a minute's silence in honour of all who have gone into battle on our behalf. The minute's silence will end on the sound of the referee's whistle. They shall grow not old.
boys and girls, half time here at Reading and wow, that was a dominant display. Luton, very little chance in that first half, nothing cleared out for them. Reading defence, really good, nice and tight display. Attacks, their number nine, Sam Baldock, he's doing very well for them. Their number 40 wonders, well, looks like a young fellow, also really great at this. Doing really well, Reading, I can see this going quite well for them. But hey, my prediction's halfway there, so hopefully Luton, you know, if you want me to get my first prediction correct, you know, get me two goals in this second half, please. But anyway, boys, head into the second half now. Hopefully more good action to come. Right, boys and girls, just got home from the Reading v Luton match and just going to quickly wrap it up here and just say what I thought of the match quick. The game was very one-sided, I thought. A lot more of Reading. Reading knew what they were doing all the time. They didn't even have to look. They know there'd be a guy behind them, next to them, just in front of them. They knew like, what was going to happen in the play-up. They were really good. To say they're in the bottom half of the table was almost shocking the way they played. They've been in the championship so long. They know the game really well. Unlike Luton, who have just come up from League One, you can see they're struggling a bit. I think that's, that's four. They have four games without a win now. I think you lost four on the trot. What, Luton fans, what should you do? Should there be a new manager? Nathan Jones just been sat by Stoke. Do you reckon he should come back? He was your little glory boy. He took you up from League One. He smashed my team, Southend, out Roots all. So, what do you think, Luton fans? Leave a comment down below. So I'm going to wrap it up here, boys and girls. And before I wrap it up, just to say thank you so much for the support. We are doing so well at the minute. We are gaining so much love off these vlogs, and I am loving every second of it. So make sure to stick around. There will be some new vlogs coming up very soon, and some gaming videos being released next week. I've been Doestian. Peace.